Welcome everyone, this is Crowned with Glory Reborn and I want to make a special video for those of you who are trying to know who your ideal life partner is. Um, part of the reason why I am putting this out, other than the fact that I do a lot of love readings on my channel, you know, so I know a lot of you are interested in that. Uh, but the other reason is right now we're in the middle of Mercury retrograde, which by the way, I'm wanting to put a special video out for you, but I just have not yet felt a release from spirit to do it, though I did feel a release to put this out. Um, you know, in a lot of my readings this month, um, and some of you might not be watching this video this month, you, you know, but so that may or may not be relevant, but this particular month, um, there were a lot of readings showing that love from the past was going to be coming back and uh, there would be reunions, reconciliation, and like I said, ad nauseum, you know, people may or may not follow through with thinking, feeling, uh, remembering okay they might just keep it within and not even make contact or say anything it will be different for different people but a lot of times when mercury goes in the retrograde which uh, typically happens three times a year i get a lot of private clients who will come to me and they are almost obsessing over somebody from the past maybe they're having dreams visions synchronicities and they're like is this person thinking about me? Are we going to reconcile? What does this mean? It, you know, is this my twin flame? You know, all these questions. And um, yes, that's something that I can get into in a private reading. But some of you, maybe you're not in the position right now to wait on one or, you know, um, put forth the funds for that at this time. And so um, I do believe that this is a good time mercury retrograde or really any time for that matter if you haven't given careful examination to what your needs are with your love life um, you know better late than never right and certainly during mercury retrograde if you're thinking about calling somebody up from the past reconciling know thyself right and this is a way that we could do this by looking into your astrology um, you know, really understand what are your needs and maybe even look at that other person's needs. If there's a particular person that you have in mind, um, you know, I also do couples readings, but, um, I'll talk about that at the end for those of you who are interested for the purpose of this video. I want to focus on how you can know who your ideal life partner is and, um, it's kind of similar to a video that I put out last time. So we're going to go through a little bit of the same instructions where, you know, you need to know your, um, your birth date, okay, to, to pull up the astrology, to get your natal chart. Uh, go over to Cafe Astrology and get their free natal chart. Um, it's at astro cafeastrology.com forward slash natal dot php. Um, there are other sites, but for the purpose of this, we're going to use Cafe Astrology. And, you know, make sure that you fill it out. And like I said in the last video, which was about knowing your life purpose destiny, those of you who haven't seen that video, you might want to check it out. But as I said in that video, I'll say it again. <laughs> Don't get loosey-goosey about this stuff, okay? Put the exact time of birth, okay? Um, if, if it's unknown, yes, you can click the unknown, all right? But if you want accuracy, if you want the whole truth, you need to put in your exact time of birth and your place of birth and you click submit okay now some of you even though I just said that you're gonna still be loosey-goosey about it and you're gonna do a guesstimation and you know what <laughs> you get whatever you get out of that okay I'm trying to tell you that your birth time is exacting as a fingerprint not even twins have the same 
birth chart because they're not born at the same time. So don't play around with this. Spare the expense and, you know, go down to your county clerk's office or wherever and pay the $15 that it costs out here in Texas where I'm from to get a copy of your birth certificate which will display your exact birth time. It is well worth the investment. Don't play around with that. Get the exact birth time. Okay, I, I, <laughs> I, I drove the point home, okay, as far as I could. Now, I'm going to say some of you have, you know, uh, ex, you know, unusual circumstances where for whatever reason you do not have it. It was never recorded. There are astrologers out there who can, um, you know, they can figure this stuff out. Uh, but I'm not, that's, you know, not my level of expertise at all. So once you fill out all of this information on Cafe Astrology, like I said, you're going to click the submit button and then it's going to take you to your birth chart report. And here you can see mine. And um, for those of you who, you know, haven't done this before, yeah, take the time to read all of this, okay? It's quite important, quite relevant. But for the purpose of, you know, this video, I'm going to show you what to focus on in order to find out who your ideal life partner is, okay? So um, some key things here, you want to know what your Venus placement is because that's your love nature okay and look also at your Mars placement because that's how you assert yourself not just out in the world but in the bedroom okay and um, you might even want to look at the the houses that those are located in as well okay for example I'll show you in a moment but my Venus in Pisces is in the 11th house and my Mars in Capricorn is in the 8th house okay and you also, um, for some of you, you want to consider your moon placement because this is kind of give kind of an idea of what your emotional needs are uh, in a relationship that need to get fulfilled. The houses you want to pay attention to is, you know, what's going on in your seventh house. And I've got Neptune in there. That is just so lovely, isn't it? <laughs> That was sarcasm, though, for those of you who didn't get that. All right, and then um, you want to look at what's going on with your eighth house. Mars is in there. Why? Why these houses? Okay, let me explain to you. Let's actually, let's backtrack because I, I got a little ahead of myself. Fifth house is um, having to do with your dating life, fun, romance. Seventh house is um, long-term committed partnerships, like marriage, okay? So Neptune there, and then eighth house, uh, that's shared resources, sex, intimacy, and I've got Capricorn there. So um, just as a side note, I mean, you might want to look at the distribution of energies within your chart of masculine, feminine energy and, you know, cardinal versus fixed and mutable and um, fire versus air, earth, water. So, for example, just a little, this is off this topic a bit, but just so you know, like, I'm deficient in fire, okay? So, this is one thing that helps me uh, when I'm looking at a partner, okay? Like, I, I've got a lot of water. Look at all that water in my chart. Five placements. So I do gravitate to a lot of water signs. I flow with them very easily. But then I find out when I'm in relationships with them that it's just a lot of floaty boaty instability, especially if we're talking about you know, water signs who don't have a lot of earth in their chart. Um, they're not grounded. They don't want to be grounded. Maybe instead they got a lot of fire in there um, where or, or prominent fire placements enough so that, that they're just kind of floaty boaty out of control all over the place type thing. OK, um, I'm also deficient in, in earth. So um, 
this is something for me, again, as an example, look at what you have enough of and what you don't have enough of. And you need to, so for me, fire and earth signs would probably be, you know, helpful for me. But we're going to go even deeper, okay? And let me say, because let me back up here. There were some things I didn't say. One placement you want to look at is your rising sign. Because your rising can be an indicator of who your ideal life partner is, okay? But um, actually, correction, the opposite sign of your rising, okay? So, for example, my opposite is Taurus, okay? And the opposite of Taurus is Scorpio, okay? So if I were to be with a water sign, it would probably, I would be best suited with a Scorpio. Um, Aries and Libra are opposites. Gemini and Sagittarius are opposites. Cancer and Capricorn are opposites. Leo and Aquarius are opposites. And Virgo and Pisces are opposites. So um, whatever your ascendant is, the opposite of that is an indicator it can be an indicator of a partner a life partner that would be uh, very well suited for you but going back to these placements one thing you want to do is also look at um, your juno and your um, arrows placement and I don't know why today cafe astrology was acting weird. We'll blame it on Mercury retrograde, but ordinarily um, they will have it listed here, the Eros and the Juno placement. They don't today for some odd reason, but why are these important? Because uh, Juno is your ideal life partner. Your um, Eros placement is... Um, you know, what, what really sets off uh, your desire, okay? Um, what really gets you going, <laughs> all right? And so if for whatever reason, like today, it's not showing here. Um, I've, I've gone to uh, like an Eros calculator, you know, Google search that, what is my Eros placement or what is my Juno placement? And you can, you can pull that up, okay? Um, and then you just start searching, okay? So, for example, um, you know, my Juno is in um, Aries. My Eros placement is in Cancer. It is good once you know these placements to also go back and look over where these signs are so for example like do i have any any prominent aries or can cancer placements okay yes i have my chiron in aries i'm sorry this mercury retrograde this is probably why i'm not filming the the reading on your mercury <laughs> retrograde because the tech is off my communications are off but let's roll with it okay um Again, the Chiron would be listed here, but I just know this by knowing my birth chart. So I'm telling you, look at the overlapping themes, okay? So for example, wow, I've got Aries and Juno and Chiron. What the irony, right? Because my ideal life partner placement is also my soul wound placement. Yeah, crazy. And then with my Eros in Cancer... Well, ironically, in my chart, I've also got um, my Saturn placement in Cancer. So it's almost like there's restrictions, limitations on all, on all things Cancerian in my life. So there's a lot of um, self-awareness that you can do um, by connecting these dots. Now, similarly, um, you know, when you look into, um, you know, all of these planetary influence with your Venus, your Mars, um, look at, and your moon, look at the aspects, you know, and you can see them all listed here. Look at all these moon aspects, you know, and I, and I've shown you guys in, you know, Pisces moon, you can Google this stuff trine saturn okay
all of these aspects you can just sit there and do this all day long all right now or you can hire me to do it <laughs> I'll talk to you about that at the end but I'm just telling you look at all these aspects with your moon with your Venus with your Mars tells you a lot about you know your love life now finally one thing I want to discuss with you is void houses and it on occasion and this has happened to me where I will get a client that will come to me and uh, they will find themselves you know 30 40 plus years old never married never settled down never had children and they're like what is going on you know why can't I find someone and um, and I've had this before where there are void houses I, I saw look at their chart they've got like nothing going on in you know one or some of these key houses I mentioned fifth seventh eighth you know and this is not necessarily an omen that you will never get married or meet this ideal life partner um but when we have and we all have void houses okay but when wherever houses are void it's an indicator that this is not going to be your focus in life okay so for example with this one particular client where i saw this um her life focuses on career 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 this does not mean that she can't have you know you can do whatever you want in this life pretty much i mean within limits right i mean there are still the laws of gravity and whatnot <laughs> you know there are consequences right but um, if you want to prioritize love in your life, if you commit yourself to getting married, you certainly can, okay? It happens all the time. People get married for all kinds of reasons um, that have nothing to do with ideal love partnership, but they do it, right? So it's possible, but you know, when you, when you have these void houses, when you have void houses, in these in these areas it, it can make it a, a little bit extra challenging because that's really not your life focus it's not that you can't have it but you know just understand that if you go in and, and do this and you find any void houses well you will understand you know you don't have a lot of support in that particular area um, don't be concerned though some of us you know we've got lovely things like you know Pluto in our fifth house which is bringing a lot of intensity and transformation, you know, um, I, or Neptune in the seventh house where it's like, you know, illusory versus, you know, illusions versus delusions, right? Okay, so we've all got our challenges. Um, just, you know, stay you know balanced in the way that you are looking at this information and know that you can do all of this if you know you're interested in somebody this is really the cool thing um you know i wish i'd known this when i was younger you know because um as i learned this stuff as i got older you know i started thinking wow I really would have saved myself a lot of pain um, had I known this I do have clients that date a lot and they come to me every time they've got a new partner and I will tell them you know this is going on with this person you know here's the, here's the strengths here are the weaknesses um, and that helps them to kind of weigh things out and it's something that I wish I had known when I was um, younger like I said but you can go to different sites like if you are comparing um let's say you want to know are you going to be sexually compatible with this person all right and i put that out there because when we're talking about an ideal love partner you do not want to commit yourself to a lifetime of fidelity with someone who you have absolutely zero sexual chemistry with don't ask me how i know 
<laughs> okay, uh, you know, some things cannot, uh, they cannot be created no matter how much time or effort you give it. it. It's not naturally there. It's not naturally there. There's other people who you just effortlessly, you have these fireworks um, and, 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 and yet it, it fizzles out, you know, because why? Because ultimately there's some maybe core incompatibility that the two do not know how to overcome. Um, and then you lose it, whereas some, you know, a couple might be stronger in a, in a particular area, not necessarily sexual. They can get into marriage, they can be in a long marriage, but they are not, you know, compatible in that respect. How do you know these things up front? I would definitely recommend uh, looking at uh, sexual astrology um, the, with the Mars and the Venus placements. Um, go uh, to, I would really recommend this website, um, sexualastrology.com. And of course, you need to like look at, you know, know your Mars placement and your Venus placement. And um, this is a good site. I think they have somewhere on here where you can also not only put your Mars and Venus placement, but also your prospective partners um, or your partners, uh, Mars and Venus placement. And then when you put all, all four of those together, you're able to see how your love nature and your sexual nature merge with their love and sexual nature. What's the compatibility of this? And um, that's really helpful to know, like, is this going to work or not? You know, I mean, obviously some people you meet and you just know, you know instantly, right? Other people you're like, mm, I don't know, you know? And so um, there's another website called sastrology.com and it talks more about the Venus and Mars compatibility. So uh, check that if, out if you're interested. And they also have on that same site, um, Mars and Moon compatibilities, which I th think carry lesser weight. I, I find this not as applicable and you know or relatable personally but yeah if you want to check it out that's definitely something that you can do and please know that you know if that's too much work for you and you want me to help you i would be happy to help you um of course i put this stuff out there because i know some of you um you know like I said, either you can't wait on a private reading or it's not in budget, and that is okay. I'm not afraid to freely share this information. Can't help everyone anyways. So um, if this helps you and it's something you can do yourself, maybe like journal it down, whatever you are finding in your own personal research, um, to know thyself, to really understand what are your emotional needs in a relationship. Um, what is your love nature? What's going to be comp compatible with you? Who is your ideal life partner? Um, you know, all of these questions that are really relevant to you, um, not only choosing the right person for you, but maybe even if you're looking back at relationships with these retrogrades, really understanding what, what drew you to that person um, what was the strength of, of that relationship and what was the weakness, right? It's knowing thyself, right? So um, I hope that that helps you. And if you want me to do uh, a reading for you, you know, where I can look at all this astrology, um, definitely reach out to me because I have now released... Um, a new service titled my ideal life partner reading 60 minutes long and that's where i'm going to cover all the astrology that we discussed here with the fifth seventh eighth houses your venus mars juno and arrows placements but what i'm also going to do is a five card future love spread that is going to reveal to you how and when you're going to meet your future love um, along with the oracle cards for advice now if you are already partnered with somebody, um, an additional service you might want to consider is um, 
you know, a couple's reading. I do have those. And that's where I look at the ast astrological sinistry between you and this other person. That's where I talk about the strengths and the weaknesses in the relationship. And I will give advice on how to, you know, o overcome the difficulties, the challenges that are inherent in the connection or, you know, to strengthen weaknesses. I will, you know, help you with that. Of course, like I said, I've got clients that come to me for, um, you know, if they're dating several people, I've got the this one or that one reading uh, 60 minutes long as well, where, um, you know, honestly, we're looking at the same kind of thing. Like if you're trying to choose between two people, send me the their birth data and I'm not only going to pull the cards, but I'm going to pull the astrology. But yeah, if you are... Um, totally single right now, I definitely would say uh, do the ideal life partner reading. And um, some of you might even be interested in the 12 month love forecast, um, where I can kind of forecast out how things are going to go. And again, I don't just do the cards, I'm looking at your unique astrology and the energies that you're uniquely dealing with over the next 12 months. And giving you advice on how to deal with these energies to the best of your benefit. So, wow, this has been a long, drawn-out video. Um, but I hope I've been thorough enough and helped you with everything that you need to know to um, find out who your ideal life partner is. And, um, yeah, if you haven't seen my video on um, your life purpose destiny, uh, check that one out as well. I might go on and put a link for that in the comments. I'll pin it to the top of the comments for those of you who haven't seen it um, because it's kind of a similar video where I show you how to do this yourself if you're interested in that. Of course, you can hire from me for that as well. But anyway, I do wish you guys all the best. I hope this has blessed you. Be blessed. Mm -hmm.